Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the data query language DQL. DQL is a subset of the SQL structured query language used to query databases and re retrieve data. Simply put, this is exactly what DQL does. Query database, ask database questions and retrieve this data. Now bear in mind, DQL is just another language an SQL language, just like data definition language, data manipulation language, data control language, and transaction control language that we already covered. However, DQL only allows the retrieval, not the modification of data or deletion, deletion of data. So simply put, you can retrieve, select some data, view the data, but you cannot change or modify. So we're going to look at some commands and some clauses that deals with data query language. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. The most common command is the select statement. This is the primary statement of the data query language. Now, the select statement will be used with additional clauses, such as the where clause. Basically, it will tell us within the data which row to retrieve. We can use the group by clause, which is arrange data into group by clause. And we'll see an example of each order by basically order the data by a specific order and there are other clauses but the most common one is the where where clause for example let's start by looking at the select clause so we're going to select star from student so the table this would retrieve and notice the star is for the column this would retrieve all the column from the student table so if we have a student table and for the sake of simplicity, we have only four records, student 001, 002, 003. We have the, the first name, last name, and age. So when we put select star from student, it will retrieve the whole table and we can look at it. Well, let's take a look at another modification. What we can do, select specify columns. So rather than selecting the whole table, we can select first name, last name from column, basically naming the rows. And it would look something like this. So we're selecting first name, last name. This, this is the complete table. And now what we do is we only have a table. This would retrieve only the first name and last name columns, which is the first name and last name without the age, without the student ID. So what we did here is we selected specific columns. Now, if we want to, we can name all the columns and select all the columns. But if we have to do that, we'll put select star and we name the table, right? That's what we did earlier. Basically, the star here, the star here would select all the columns, but we can select specific column to display such as first name and last name. Other examples of the select is the where clause. This is the where clause is important. Here's what's going to happen now. We're going to select star from student. What does that mean? It means select the whole table. This is the whole table where the age is greater than 18. Notice the where now it kind of limit us. And we're only selecting specific rows. What are the rows? Anything above 18. So would this would retrieve all columns from the students table where the age is greater than 18, which is Adam, Mike, and Diane? Well, three. Why? Because Sandeep is 17. It will not be selected. And this is the output that we will have. Now, obviously, I'm not doing the actual programming here because the purpose of these lessons is for CPA candidate, accounting information system students, not programmers. So keep that in mind. So notice rows, not columns. So when we put where, it specify which rows we want to select because the star selected all the columns. But we went to the rows and we selected specific rows. We can do any sort of, we could put any sort of a clause here, the where clause. Order by clause used to sort the results set by one or more column to list students sorted by their names in descending order. Select last name, then from student table, order by first name, 
descending, whatever you want to do. I did not do that because I'll have to re rearrange the whole table. And I'm pretty sure you know how to rearrange first name descending. That's fine. There's also the group by clause. What's the group by clause? Let's assume this is the table that we have and we want to group rows that have the same value in specific column. For example, here we want to group all the accounting major uh, course ID, students who are taking accounting courses, the accounting course. This is often used with aggregate function like count, sum, average. Here we want to count how many students are taking our accounting major. It doesn't have to be course ID, major ID. Okay, we have accounting history, accounting and information system. So to know the number of students enrolled in each course, or these are the courses. We have accounting course, history course, and information system course. We would select course ID, count student ID as the number of students. And here what we have from the student table will get two. The answer will be two, and those will be Adam and Mike who are taking accounting courses. What should you do now to learn more about these clauses, these languages, data query, query language? You gotta go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional resources like multiple choice questions that's gonna help you reinforce this knowledge. Invest in yourself, whether you are a CPA exam candidate or an accounting student. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.